All right, good morning, everyone. Thank you all again for joining us in a very busy week here at the city of Savannah. Welcome to Atwood Park. This area used to be unincorporated, unincorporated Chatham County until 1963 when the city annexed it into the area. The Par Paradise Park Oakhurst neighborhood is where we are at today for the first park in this neighborhood, one that is definitely well-deserving for many, many years. I'm Ken Slass out of the Office of Public Communications. We have a lot of special guests with us, starting with our mayor, Eddie Deloach, behind me. Yay. Our mayor pro tem, Carol Bell, is with us. Our alderman for this district for Julian Miller. And Alan Bolton, our neighborhood president, who is instrumental in this as well. They'll all speak briefly for a moment. Also, I'd like to recognize a few other people. Our chief infrastructure officer, Heath Lloyd, will be joining us. And he played an instrumental role in this as well, along with Carol Moon and our capital projects team. Johnson Lux is the contractor on the project. They're represented here as well. Longtime member of our recreation department, Barry Baker, thank you for all you do for parks and recreation throughout the city of Savannah. Members of Savannah Police Department, thank you also for joining us here today. This is the first park, as I said, in the area, and in 2005 is the first that they had a neighborhood association. And I know Mr. Bolton, Bo excuse me, Mr. Bolton, there's an E in your name though as well. That's very interesting. Mr. Bolton has played an instrumental role in getting this very much needed area. School age children had to go out of the area to actually have the recreation that they deserve. So let's start off with our mayor, Eddie Deloach. All of that goes to the credit of Julian Miller. Persistence pays off and Julian, if, it, if Julian gets something on his mind, you might as well give up. It's, it, yeah, it, he'll, he'll aggravate you till you give it up. But it is great, and uh, I'm going to miss him uh, after this year. But I do wish to say that he has done a great deal for his neighborhood associations. No matter which one he had or which one he was working with, if he felt like there was a need and they demonstrated a need, he would work and do everything he could to make sure those things happen. So. I'm grateful for his time here and appreciate everything he's done. And I'm looking forward to having us a great, great park here based on the work of you and Julian. I think we're going to have a wonderful place. And we need to make this one of many as we go forward, if you can find the areas for them. Thank you all a lot for being here, and I'm excited to make this thing happen. Thank you. Uh, and I want to thank a lot of people. Uh, you have no idea how hard it was to get a park put on an empty lot. <laughs> this thing started out as the, uh, first of all, I want to thank um, uh, Alan Bolton. He and his wife Phyllis and I were riding around just after I got elected and uh, took office in 2016, just looking at the area. And he mentioned that there has never been a park in Paradise Park. Uh, nor a lot of other things in Paradise Park. If you look around, you see a lot of basketball goals on the side of the road. Uh, you usually have kids out there playing with those basketball uh, courts. And he came up on this and he said, why can't we make a park out of this? And it's a gorgeous area. In the meantime, a lot of things transpired. We tried to put a basketball court on here um, and the state did not want concrete on here because it's a FEMA lot. So he had to come up with more money to put a pervious uh, basketball court on here. We neighbors were concerned about the things that go along with a basketball court. So with Heath Lloyd's um, uh, help, we designed a basketball court for 10 year olds, 10 and under. Um, how do you do that? You put uh, eight foot goals. <laughs> so that's what we're going to have here. Um, I want to thank the mayor and Carol Bell he gave me a lot of credit, but the truth of the matter is, every time I needed help, those two were there for us to get it done. Uh, we're going to talk about Heath if he ever gets here. Um, the problem with Heath is he's doing everything in the city, so he, he, it's hard to get him um, from one place to another. So when he gets here, we'll, we'll recognize him again. The one other thing I want to mention to you is this is a SPLOS project, Special yes, Purpose SPLOS. Local Option Sales Tax. Yes, that penny on each dollar that you pay goes for projects like this. If we didn't have SPLOS, we wouldn't be able to do these kind of projects. So help us because you got another SPLOS coming up. 
Uh, I also want to thank the Savannah Police Department because one of the things that we had to make sure of before we started this was that this park would be heavily patrolled and we have the assurances of the police department that that would be done. And I'm going to stall just a minute because Every obstacle we ran into, Heath Lloyd figured out a way around. And it wasn't just a few obstacles. Uh, and I want, want to go back to Alan Bolton about every other week, I'd get some kind of message, a phone call, a text, or a um, email from Alan saying, when are we going to break ground on Atwood Park? Alan, I promise you, we're going to do it today. <laughs> I'll yield to you. Again, let me reiterate a few things. This is the SPLOS project, and also, as, as um, Alderman Miller mentioned, there will be a basketball court. There will also be a playground out here for the younger kids to play on. So this is a full-service park with a lot to do. Now we will have the neighborhood president, Alan Bolton. Uh, I just want to put a resounding amen to all of the thanks and all of the people that have been acknowledged in the last 10 minutes. Um, right from the time our uh, organization was put together, we deliberately put together uh, a lot of neighborhoods. There are seven uh, different developments that were incorporated into our neighborhood. Uh, they're very diverse, and so that means we had a whole lot of interesting people. We also had a whole lot of interesting issues. Um, and getting people together on the same issue at the same time was a challenge for years and years and years. But we did get to the point where we decided what a couple of our priorities were. And our most important priority really can just be described as quality of life. Uh, we had very different quality of life in different parts of our neighborhood that are only a quarter mile apart. And while the police department has been instrumental in helping us uh, with street crime issues, and it's reduced now almost to the, to the point of non-existent, our reports are now just a couple lines a month, and they're usually minor things. Uh, very, very encouraged by that. But one of the things we realized more basic than that was that certain parts of our neighborhood had been trouble spots for decades. Now this street right here, Atwood, was a high crime area based on reports for 20 years. So if you're going to do something besides enforcement, if you want to do something proactive, you need to try to change the complexion of the neighborhood. We had a lot of wonderful people that live in here, but we have a lot of people that were traversing this area or spending brief periods of time in this area who weren't behaving in such a wonderful manner. What we decided we needed to do was to get the people out of their living rooms and out into the streets here. They're safe now. We needed a place for the children especially to come. Of course, they're going to drag their parents with them, we hope. Um, and that meant a park. And just coincidentally, there's this very large tract of land we're standing in the corner of here. It stretches all the way back to Bartlett Middle School. And it has this branch of the Vernon River running through it. We all want a wonderful spot for a park. And of course, the basic question is, why are all these lots empty? And why have they been empty for so long? And when I talked to Julian about it, we found the answer to that right away. They're actually FEMA lots. So they're regulated by the federal government. And they've delegated most of that authority to the state, GEMA. Couldn't do anything without their permission. Now, I've just mentioned the largest problem that we had getting this park in. It wasn't the willingness of the city to do it. It wasn't the funding. 
It was the fact that two government agencies, neither of which is the city of Savannah, <clears throat> are involved in regulating these properties. And getting these two groups to agree on anything turned out to be a monumental task. I shouldn't be surprised, I suppose, but I was. It's taken almost four years, basically, just to get all of the government agencies to sign off on what we're doing. What we're doing is a park from scratch. We mentioned the elements. We're going to have a basketball court, junior size. That's what the hole is for. It's got to be pervious. Water has to soak through it. So that means they have to have a gravel foundation under there and then a, a layer on top that water will pass through. We're going to have playground equipment in here. And long term, we hope to have a walking path in here and maybe a cute little bridge over the river. But right now, all we had money for was the basics up in this corner here. And we're very glad to have that. Um, I'll have to say, my neighbors have been very patient because we came out here and got petitions signed by all the neighbors in support of the park three years ago. And they really deserve the answer from me. Okay, we signed your petition. When are we going to have the park? And just kept having to roll it forward. But it has paid off. It is actually going to happen beginning today. And I thank everybody for their support. This is a wonderful innovation in an area that really deserves it. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Mr. Bolton. One thing that he pointed out is public safety plays an important role in neighborhoods like this. Also, good government and neighborhood revitalization, all part of Savannah's strategic plan. Thank you all to the media for coming and, of course, all the residents in this area who will be using this park and taking advantage of the opportunities that we have here. That will conclude this portion. We will now go over to the shovels, each of you guys, Mr. Bolton as well. Grab a shovel and we can uh, put it in the dirt for the first time. Are you ready? Right. I've got three. Hold on. The mayor's getting some dirt. <laughs> okay. All right. One, two, three. Hey! 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 Hey!